What's going on dudes, boys and girls, friends and viewers, people who I do know and those I still do not. My name is Colossalis, welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm excited just because the hacker has come to town. The hacker has, been, has received a little bit of a rework. I didn't think he needed it, but I guess the devs basically said differently. Uh, he now offers a little bit more options. He's he's a very, very kind of a utility tank. He lacks any kind of engage, any kind of disengage. But if he can kind of get the initial wave of damage plus uh, CC, he can become really deadly. Plus also this coupled with his amazing global presence. Thank you, Purple. You almost were my video, but anyway, um, let's just jump into the hacker and let's see what we can do with him right at the moment. My, one of my favorite characters, by the way. All right, boys and girls, find ourselves on the Sky Temple Lord. Sky Temple today. Uh, I think it's a good map. I think it's an okay map for the hacker. I mean, every ma every map is good for the hacker. Probably the worst one right now I can think of is probably Haunted Mines, just because he cannot burrow into the actual mines themselves. He has to burrow next to the entrance and then actually enter the, the mines, which is okay, which is kind of bad. But um, yeah, okay, but here you're gonna sell. That's fine. Uh, I don't like our team company, so I'm not gonna show it. You, you guys can figure it out yourself. Q ability is drag. Basically, it's a very, um, a very short range skill shot. Um, so it's, it's also a straight line. Yeah, just walk into that Q. Just walk into that Q like it's nobody's business. Um, basically, what it does, uh, if I catch somebody with that with that Q, uh, I will basically drag them and stun them for a very very long duration. One point seven five seconds is huge. It's is the longest um, skill shot stun in the game i'm doing this there just because it's very wonky uh, it is very long and it is pretty okay to hit but it's really wonky just because um it just how can i say this it comes out after a delay and also oh, i'm just, I'm just taking a lot of damage and also um it's like its range is just very very bad like he's just taking damage for no reason now I think he's trying to bait maybe I might be able to get it here oh there we go very nice it will secure us a kill I think I think we would have killed him anyway but it's just gonna give us that extra time to kill him W ability is Dark Swarm it's what I've been using to clear those uh, those those pesky pesky minion waves right here I'm basically walking in the middle bam activate it it's kind of like an AoE very very strong kind of um Burning Rage damage. Um, basically, it will do just deal damage and also be, be dealing double damage to enemy heroes. Um, so this... Come on, where's the bomb? There's the bomb. Oh, I'm gonna come in the middle here. That's the one. That's the one. Come on! I think I'm... There we go. I'm fine. Ha ha ha! Ah, fuck you! Okay, so I'll be able to actually go back now <clears throat> and then re-engage into the fight straight away. Uh, does it does it do anything else? It can be cast during a dra dra dragon barrel. Yeah. So basically, when I when I when I'm dragging, I can I can cast it as well. Uh, let's go for the one who collects. Um, I don't think we have any chance in middle. Uh, my, my baby is just split pushing tap while this is happening. So I'm just gonna burrow tap and try to help out. Hello. Hello, Tracer. Good to see you. Good to see you, baby girl. Yeah, so basically, whenever I'm dragging somebody, or I'm actually in my E ability, which I still haven't uh, explained, but I've already used, uh, I can just cast it again and again and again. Hello. Where are you going, my friend? Where are you going? Where are you going, Johanna? Your body blocked. I don't know what you. I don't know what you're trying to do right here. But I mean, I'm just gonna keep doing damage. Just gonna keep standing in there. We kill one person. Uh, we're gonna activate our, our trait, and we just kill two people. Like it's nobody's business. God damn, boys! All right, and our ability is draw. It's burrow. It can basically burrow underground for two seconds and reactivate it at any time to come back. It basically puts us into stasis, uh, allowing us to do to dodge any down any incoming damage. Baby, did you die, bottom? 
fucking Samuel. Swear to God. Oh my God! I fucking dragged him so hard there. But of course, of course, he's unrevealable. It's unrevealable. He's still taking damage. Which one's which, which one's the real one? That's the real one. Alright. It's right here, bro. Do, 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 do. Hello. Fuck you, Samro! What's up? Are you okay? Press something. You you you, you disconnected. All right, looks like the screen is back on. There we go. I don't know what what happened. But anyway, uh, my girlfriend's laptop just went off, and I was like, "What? Oh, now you rejoined." No. Yeah, you did. What the hell is going on right now? Are <laughs> we gonna go for symbiosis here? Um, our trait is called uh, the Essence Collection. Basically, collect essence whenever I kill a minion. Uh, that basically around me, whenever a minion dies around me, or when, whenever I get a kill. I think I get one essence. Oh, it's two essence per uh, per an enemy uh, enemy um, kind of minion taken down, and ten essence for every hero taken down next to me, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And then it, when it, and also it can also activate it. Hello. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Nope. I can just activate it, heal for a shit ton. Um, And allow us to survive? <laughs> I'm, I, what? Yeah, it's just like it's, 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 those those heroes are just annoying against against me. Like those I can just put down shit in front of you. I'll be getting resets for days with this symbiosis. That's actually a lot of damage. Ugh. I don't like it one bit, and I missed my Q. That's bad. Change is upon us. Th their variant is just terrible. I think we just split into lanes. I, can't, I don't think we can do anything here. I'm just gonna walk in the middle maybe a little bit. I grabbed Varian. Does, does that help? I mean, we got a kill, but is that good? Alright, so we got a triple kill. That actually gave me enough essence to just re-engage into the fight. There you go, baby. A very nice lockdown, but my girlfriend is gonna lose a secure kill. And okay, what I can do is do this. Just dip down, get down to the top lane. That's it. Dude, I'm so bad at explaining things. I'm so bad. I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna go for isolation just because we do have a very strong front line. Don't want the boss. I'm, I'm I'm not really a fan of the boss here. I can just push this for free and just get a fort. How about that? How about that? That's just more value. Anyway, on our level ten, we did pick up. Oh shit. Uh, we did. <laughs> we didn't pick up. Oh shit. We picked up uh, isolation, which is a v another very wonky skill shot that all allows us to silence an enemy. Uh, basically, limit their vision greatly and slow them. Um, the slowing and the silence only like last for two or so, okay, three seconds. But then the actual, um, the actual just the vision restraint is there for six seconds, which is pretty good. Pretty good. You know, it's very good for against healers. Like they cannot like, see if they cannot see, they cannot cast their abilities. So you're going back, okay? I thought I'd attack them. What? That's bullshit. Anyway, okay, we're just gonna stay clearing lanes. Um, baby, watch out because the uh, variant's coming. Variant is on its way. I'm just gonna stay here. Um, push this up a little bit, maybe, uh, so it can be me pressure. Uh, if my friendlies do need me, I'm, I'm always available with my gobo, barely. In the, in the middle. Oh, he says it's, it's his bad, so... It's not too bad. Uh, on level 1, we did go for primer, primal aggression, which increases the damage that we do. He's just gonna walk in here. I mean, okay. Are you serious? What? <laughs> Best Samuro EU right here. Uh, anyway, I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna make. I'm not, not gonna make fun of him because, just because I suck at Samuro myself. So I'm, I'm just not gonna make fun of him. Um. Samurai is a very tough character. <laughs> All right, you guys don't need me here. You guys don't need me here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. I mean, you're just gonna hit me there, Tracer. 
What's that, what's that gonna give you? Oh, dude, he, he's so committed now to actually getting a kill on me. <laughs> just because I killed him. But what I can do, I can just I can just dip back. I can just dip back and I'll be right back into the fight whenever I choose to. Very nice lockdown is going to secure a kill on this tracer, my baby. The fuck? My baby. Focusing down that tracer. Yeah, so it's gonna basically double the damage that it does. The primal aggression is gonna double the damage that it does to um, enemy minions and mercenaries. I'm not sure if it's structures as well. Let's see if it's structures. Uh, no, it's just minions and mercenaries. It's not gonna be structures, but so it's gonna make it a, just amazing, amazing. One of the best wave players you can ever dream of on a character. Um, on level four, we did go for one, the one who collects, which allows us to get a little bit more essence. One more essence per uh, per minion hit. Basically allows us to clear a minion wave and get, just get that extra, um, extra essence that which that which we require. So here comes the silence. The silence is gonna hit, and also the stun is just crazy. We're able to almost wipe the floor with the enemy team. I can just just press my uh, press my D here. Uh, she already used her recall, so if she gets caught, and she does get caught, and that's a result in a kill. Great job by the friendly team. Uh, the Azman is actually in a lot of trouble too. He's getting body blocked here by the friendly Murden. If they allow me to get to him, he might be able to get a to secure kill. There we go. We, I, I wasn't even needed. The dunk secures a kill. Dude, the dunk on the dunk maker. I'm just gonna push this. Why not? We, I think we can get a keep here easily. Uh, level 7 was the symbiosis. The symbiosis basically what it does. It allows me... I mean, hello. I have 50 essence, you can't touch me, I'm sorry. Just kill him, just kill him, just kill him, just kill him. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go for the range. Um, yeah, so basically, whenever I hit a hero with my Dark Swarm, uh, its cooldown is going to be reduced by a half second. Like, against Samuro, this is crazy. Like, because his his copies do act as... Um, as a hero, so when I when I hit it with with my with my W, I just get reset. You look, I walk into in the middle. You can see it just goes down, goes down, and by the time is it, it is actually done. Um, like the the actual skill, I can already cast it again. It's just dealing crazy damage to the enemy heroes, uh, crazy AOE damage to maybe waves if I'm actually uh, if I'm fighting in, uh, uh, like in the middle of a wave. Crazy, crazy utility. Uh, level 10 is, of course, is isolation, which I already explained. Um, Primal Swarm was our 13 talent, which basically what it does, whoever is standing in my E is going to be t is going to be taking uh, additional damage. So I'm going to dip down here below the ground. Uh, he is on. Actually, he's right here. Boop! <laughs> Got him with the ultimate, boys. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is so fun. Alright, uh, yeah, basically everybody who is standing uh, in my W, every single thing, will be taking 15% more damage, which is kind of a down, down, down version of, um, of, um, of vulnerable. Uh, you know, the, the normal vulnerable effect is, uh, is actually 25%. Uh, this, this, this gives 20, this, this gives, uh, this, this uh, gives additional 15% damage. I can just press my D here, just heal. It ain't no thing, else with them. Just keep hitting me, brother. I'm all fine. I'm all fine. Uh, 16, we did go for the elongated tongue. It gives us some additional range to make our Q just much, much easier to hit. <clears throat> and um, it, just, it just makes it more fun. It just makes it more fun to throw out. It makes it more fun to hit. Makes it much easier. Makes it much, makes our uh, life much easier. Also extends our effective range a little bit here as well. Um, one really big thing, like before this game just finishes, I really want to stress this, I can't stress this enough, is like, a very big part of playing the Haka is knowing when you can go go in, like, you have to understand your weaknesses, I'm trying to get to him, we just turned it, we just turned it around, boop! Just keep silencing. Uh, keep, keep her, you know, keep her silence. Keep her, keep her Gucci. She day. She doesn't know what the fuck is going on. She like, she's blind and shit. Where's Asmodan? Did he die? Yes, he died. Okay. Um. So. Yeah. It's, it's basically. It's like what's very important is like knowing when you can go in. Like, 
when you have, let's say you have 50 essence and three people are on low, you're basically just bound to kill them right there. It looks like we're just going to be finishing the game right here, boys and girls. Um, very nice stun is going to secure us a kill on the enemy tracer. My baby has been doing amazing. I just dip down and get that. I mean, I'll be stunned, but I have so much healing that they cannot do anything to me at least at the moment. And we are able to win the game with the help of the objective, I do believe. Yeah, so just knowing when you can stay, knowing when you can dip in and dip out of the fight, knowing your place, knowing that... Look at that! We did, we did the most hero damage in the game, but knowing what's your role. <laughs> my baby joking. Baby, you're, you're always MVP in, in my eyes. Um, yes, just knowing that if you do not get this initial wave of CC and damage onto the enemy team, you're not going to be too much use for the for another 10 seconds or so. Um, so you have to be very, very careful about that. You have to be careful about your positioning. Um, of course, you can kind of get away with a lot of stuff if you have Essence. So just try to stack that. Try to split push a lane and then basically uh, Z to your team. Or maybe, let's say, you just finished a team fight and you have nothing to do. Bam, just Z to a, to a wave and just push it with your primary aggression. So let me just explain the build again. I do really find a lot of people don't like the hacker just because they know they do not understand his strengths. They do not understand how to play the character itself. So, uh, primal, primal aggression to make our wave feel just amazing and also increases the duration of our Dark Storm by half a second. I didn't explain that one. Uh, at four, the Hero Stalker used to be the best talent to go for, but now the one who collects is actually a very good choice. I think it's the best choice up, uh, up in this build nizzle. Why? Just because Hero Takedowns now give you 100% more. So you used to be able to kill two people and you had full essence. That's how crazy is that, right? Now you still you, you still have to kill three people to actually max out your essence and you're going to be actually losing essence with the third kill if you do not use it in between. So the actual losing factor is what I don't like about this uh, talent anymore. And that's why I, I pick up the one who collects and I just try, I try to s just sit my ass in the lane a little bit longer. But oh my god, it just pays off so much. That one extra because you know you get fifty percent from uh, extra from minions. They give you two, so they, so now they're gonna give you three. So per, so you're gonna be getting basically twenty eight, no twenty one essence per wave, which basically maxes you out at almost let's say two waves. So you clear one, clear the second one, you're almost full health, which is crazy, crazy. Level 7 we did go for Symbiosis, it's just because the enemy team was clumping up around me and also the enemy team had Samuro. This is such a big um, counter to Samuro, just because first of all, at level 13 it does give him vulnerable. Um, it also reveals them. How does it reveal them? Well, the, the copies have less health than himself, so they're going to be taking more damage than the actual Samuro. And you actually do know straight away which one's the real one. Um, it's just so good and also gives you the resets of, of the actual cooldown. On 10, we to go for isolation. I do believe adaptation is actually very viable now. Um, it's, what it does, it basically heals you for the 100%. You activate it and then for the f next 4 seconds, you'll be basically taking damage, right? And then you, after that 4 seconds, if you're still alive, you'll be ta you'll be healing for the, the, for the entire thing. Uh, which, honestly, is just super, super strong. But i just don't think that it's still i don't think it makes him a solo tank material anyway um it's not the healing that that doesn't that kind of restrain him from being the solo tank that, that he's supposed to be it is just his a lack of doing anything after he uses his you know the wave of the cc and the damage I, I i talked about already um so but he's still he's i think he's a viable uh, adaptation is a viable pick if you're getting focused um which i don't mean the enemy team should not be doing that because you can just dip down kind of heal with your essence and then kind of be okay but again if you are getting focused adaptation is a perfectly viable choice on 13 we did go with the for the primal swarm everybody in your w will be gaining this kind of dumped down version of vulnerable but it's still really good. Like you saw how much amplification I was getting, like especially with the dunks. Like I popped my W and then uh, there was a Q coming from our Asmodan and it was just crazy damage all across. On 16, we did go for Erangated Tongue, giving us a little bit more range with our Q making it much, much easier to, um, to hit, but also just much more fun. And level 20, we would have went for either the Essence Clause or the Apex Predator. The Essence Clause is a new talent. It's kind of a, it was actually added with the rework. Um, 
uh, same as the level 13, the Primal Swarm. But what it does, it basically, it's kind of like, what's the name? Nexus Blades, it's very similar to that, but it doesn't give you the additional damage. It, it still slows the target, but then now every single basic attack against, against the hero gives you five essence. So you can stack up on essence after 10 basic attacks. How crazy, that's just nuts. Uh, and that's if you don't need the um, the actual global ability. If you do need the glo the global a lot, if you're moving around the map a lot and you, your team is losing you, then sure, you can always go for a big predator, which by the way was nerfed, but still is a very, very viable pick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like playing the hacker for me is like, it's just like smearing some butter on the, on the roll. Um, I just love playing him. He's definitely my favorite character right now in the game. And... That's about it all. That's about all I have to say about the hack. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.